in a previous video, I demonstrated how to set up an alert on a stock based up based on a study. In this video, we're going to set up a, a scan for a watch list based on a study. So go to your scan tab, clear out any filters you may have, and then we're going to go to add filter. And then we're going to add study. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to go down to custom. And we're going to remove the ADX crossover. We're going to delete it. And we're going to set our aggregation period. You could do anything. If you're day trading, you might want to do, you know, two minutes, five minutes. Or you might want to use the weekly. Uh, for this example, I'm going to use the daily. But you can set up anything. And then we want to come down here and we want to add a condition. So the condition we want to add is price. And some reasonable things to add for price will be low, close, mark for this particular thing. I'm going to use low. And then we're going to further define what we we're looking for. And you could look for something like crosses below, uh, equal to, uh, various ones. I'm going to use uh, less than or equal to. That says if the price hits the study or goes below it, then, then show up in the scan. And then I'm going to set a condition. I'm going to pick out the particular study that I want to use. In this example, I'm going to use the Keltner, Keltner channels. So I'm going to go down here, find Keltner channels. Now, look, you can use them on all these right here. You can use the Bollinger Bands, uh, the Ikimocho, or however you pronounce it. All these different studies, you can do it. It works, works the same for them all. So let's go down to Keltner. Right there, Keltner channels. And here in this box, we're going to select which band I want it to scan for. In this particular case, because we're in a market correction, I'm looking for things that's hit the lower band because I am bottom fishing, to be honest with you. I'm looking to go long on and, and uh, do some bottom fishing. Uh, and if the market's not in a correction, you might want to use the mid band, which would be the blue band on a Keltner. And then you see down here in this area here, you could adjust the perimeters of that study to be the same as if you were adding a study to a chart. It's the same things there. So we have low price is equal to or less than the lower band of the Keltner channel is what I'm looking for. And then we're just going to save it and OK. And then up here, I'm going to set this watch list that I want it to scan, which I have my own personal watch list, my go-to list, and you'll see it right there. And I'm looking for things that have weekly options uh, because I'm going to be trading options and not stocks. And I'm looking for weeklies because they tend to be more liquid than ones that don't have weeklies. And then I'm going to do a scan. And there's what shows up in my particular list that meets those conditions. And I'm going to save this study. Keltner channel lower bands, save. Now let me rename it because I had set it up before. Keltner channel bands lower. That's what it was is because I actually saved it as that name one time. thought I had deleted it. And then I could come over here to my watch list and Go down here to uh, G-H-I-J, there you go, Kelton Channels, Bands Lower. And them same stocks, same four stocks have showed up that we've seen on the scan. Now, I don't have to run that scan anymore. This watch list will update automatically throughout the day, every day. So these symbols will change. Uh, you just, just run the scan once, save it, and you have your watch list there. And then you can come to the chart. And you'll see I have my Kelton channels on here. So let's look at one. So let's look at the now stock. You see I have the Keltner channels there. And you'll see it had went below. And now it's back to touching it. Uh, Taiwan Semiconductor. Same thing. So they took a big hit in this correction. And I'm going to look to be getting in them. Roku, another one. 
So I'm bottom fishing. So really that's all there is to it. And this, like I said, this will update throughout the day. It's, it's scanning all the time. You just set it that one time, save it, save it to the uh, watch list you want to use. You could use a public watch list like the S&P 100 or the NASDAQ 100, you know, whatever. The public watch list, your private watch list works on them all. So if this helped you, how about leaving a thumbs up? Leave a comment, subscribe, and help the YouTube algorithm get this channel out there. I sure would appreciate it, and you have a good day.